on guys welcome back to the channel first off i just want to address it we finally hit 200 subs holy shit uh as of recording this right now we're at 210 so let's keep the grind going um right now this week i'm just like getting prepared for um this fest this weekend so get ready for that that's gonna be a fun vlog probably gonna be a two-parter probably the day of going there and the day of the festival so hopefully i see some of you guys and hopefully you guys are happy to see that so uh i sold my fit the other day believe it or not it was quick happened fast so decided to see it go but you know i got it the chance to flip it the car was like <laughs> holding on to it's like a bare life so i ended up popping something new so i'll get to show you guys later what it is um and the car came with the sound system so after i got that and i got back in the z to go and get alignment today i was like oof i can't have the daily sounding that good and I have the Z signing that good. I got kickers on the Z, so I can't wait to show you guys that right now. I'm gonna go pick it up. Uh, I'll show you how it sounds, and then I'll show you guys the new daily. I also wanted to say that I'm recording on the new iPhone 13 Pro, so hopefully you guys can tell like different quality of the videos. But I don't know, uh, ever since I started this YouTube channel, I've been recording in 4K. Some of you guys don't watch it in 4K because you either didn't know that it was being recorded in 4K, or that, you know, we just didn't know but yeah since every video i've been recording it's been in 4k so um if you guys have the option to put it in 4k then you guys should because the videos would come out more crispy all right you guys are you ready the sound is on it sounds amazing obviously it would have sound a lot better if i had a a sub but i'm not gonna put a sub just because i barely have any space back there and i'm planning to do a trunk setup for uh my airlift shit. so anyways i'm gonna show you guys how it sounds real quick yeah but for some of you guys that may not know so for the z there's speakers on both doors and then the back of the seats there's a speaker there and a speaker over there uh for the longest time i didn't even know there were speakers behind my seat so that goes to show that this was long overdue so it sounds amazing now thankfully now that all that's fixed so the ride to LA is gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, you guys got me to 200 subs. I'm gonna give you a little something. Oh shit! <laughs> give me to 200. I mean, give me to uh, 1,000 subs, and you guys might see the next side. I'm not exactly sure what I played, but it was free music. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted. If not, then, bruh, it's gonna be a buzz on this video. All right, here it is, you guys. I know it's at night. Sorry, <laughs> but Honda Accord, the new daily, a little fun car but a lot better than the honda fit i'm not sure if i want to do anything to the car but as of now it's pretty clean condition but i'll tell you guys in a little bit on how i ended up getting rid of the fit and getting this car but this car's pretty fun and i can't wait to have a good time with it let me know what you guys think in the comments below and i know some of you guys are wondering yes it's a manual and no, <laughs> I'm not planning on always getting manual dailies, but you know, it just happens. You know, especially if it's gonna be a car that's not super fast, you're gonna wanna have a daily that sticks so you can still have fun with it. And look, came with the kickers, a subwoofer, and Also a Pioneer stereo with Apple Play. Pretty dope, pretty dope. All right, now check how great this sound sounds on the car. It's gonna be obviously a lot better than the Z just because it has the subwoofer, the little kicker in the back, but all right, here we go, ready? Looking crazy. <laughs> you can feel like my whole fucking body shaking. Oh man, shit's fun. So yeah, funny story about how I sold the fit. So I posted an off-road like back in April. I was like, you know what? This car kind of just doesn't seem like it'll be here long-term. So I just kind of wanted to sell it. I, look, I love the fits. The fits are sick. They're awesome cars. 
just the one I picked was not it. But I'm gonna miss that fit a lot. Well, not that fit, but just owning a fit, cause man, it has so much space and just it's a great daily. If you guys can get a fit, I highly recommend it. But the one I got was pretty fucking. Let's clap the fuck out, and that's a big lesson. Lesson I learned not to fully cheap out. You know what I mean? But anyways, I posted it back in April. I guess I was like I was saying, um, kept getting low ballers, so I was over it. I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna keep this shit till it fucking dies on me. And then one night, some guy hit me up saying like, I'll give you this much cash, and I was like, oh shit, thank you for real. He's like, yeah. I'll meet up with you tonight and i was like oh okay and then i told him all right let's meet up so you know i just expected like it was he was gonna flake or he wasn't gonna show up but he did and he just looked around popped up in the hood looked at it real quick and he said all right i'll take it and i was like oh okay uh do you want to take it on a drive you want to test drive it you know check out everything's good he's like no it's fine i'll just take it and i was like uh you know i kind of felt bad but i mean i told him everything that was up with it but he just took it and i was like well, all right well, take it take it off my hands it's cool you know so i ended up flipping the fit thankfully so I was, i'm not stuck with that car anymore and thank god man it was just so unexpected but i'm glad i got rid of it and well i'm having a lot of fun with the accord like i said i'm not exactly sure if i'm gonna modify it uh i'm probably not gonna go anything crazy it already has coils um, I really don't like how the wheels look, the stock wheels. They just look so small. I already have some wheels in mind that I might be copying soon, so we'll see, we'll see. All right, you guys, it's a new day. So the final thing I need before we go to the trip is finally switch out the O2 sensors. Holy crap. <laughs> I've had that check engine light since uh, February. But yep, I'm finally getting that shit cleared out those O2 sensors in today. Damn, the lineup is looking sick. Sheesh. I'd record more in the shop, but they're blasting music over there. It looks like the Q's getting a new lip. I repeated this lip. Handle the tail fight. All right, well, that was pretty much a fail. Um, there's like four sensors. There's the two that are on the R pipes, and then there's two that are by the engine. So that's like $800 job just to switch them all out. It's kind of hard to tell which sensors are bad just because of the R pipes. If it had a CATS, obviously it'd be easier to tell which sensors are bad. But since I have R pipes, it's hard to tell. And... Even if I switch all four sensors out, it's not guaranteed that the check engine light will go away. It can still come up. So, I mean, I'm not scared of the check engine light. <laughs> I just think it's annoying, and I'd rather not have it there. But I'm not going to spend 800 bucks on sensors just to guarantee me not to have that check engine light code gone. So, yeah, I mean, the only way I know I can get rid of it is if I tune the car. So I'd rather spend the $800 towards the tune and get that stupid check engine light code gone. All right, you guys. Here's another shot of the car during the day. Pretty clean. But right now, I'm prepping the cars for SoCal. Gotta release all that water from the water trap. And then I gotta tape up the front protected from rock chips and then i gotta do the same thing with the z oh boy so i'll get back to you guys as soon as i wrap this whole thing and by wrap i mean tape it up <laughs> all right you guys this is as much as i've taped up so much <laughs> it's a lot of tape it's taking a lot of time but it's worth it at the end of the day because screw those rock chips so um it's starting to get dark out <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here um i'll show you guys in the next video how it looks and how the z looks oh man that's the part that sucks i still have to do the z <laughs> and that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i know it wasn't anything crazy but can't wait to upload the next vlog it's gonna be over there in socal so stay tuned for that it's gonna be really fun 
Until next time, guys, catch you guys in the next video. Bye.